Hey, it's Jamin, and in today's Team Gantt tip, we're taking a deeper dive into how you can monitor plans and track progress in Team Gantt. It's super important for every project to have a plan, but you also need to be able to easily see how well you're doing compared to what you planned. Fortunately, there are a lot of quick and easy ways to track your progress in Team Gantt. Let's take a look at them. A baseline is like a snapshot of a project. You can use it to document what your project looks like at any given time, or when there are changes to a project, so you can see what you had planned versus what actually happened. Setting up a baseline is quick and easy. Just go to Menu, Baselines, Create New Baseline Set. You can create as many as you like and as often as you like, and you can toggle them on or off so when you make changes to your project, you can easily see them. Also, baselines are timestamped, so it's easy to keep track of the state of your project at the time it was taken. Baselines are available on all standard and advanced plans. If you have multiple projects and want to get a high-level overview of how every project on your account is tracking, you can use the Project Health Report. Here, you can quickly see if a project is behind or on schedule by looking at the timeline. This shows a visual of the overall project duration, with start, and end dates, and includes a marker of where your completed work and time remaining stands. On time, running behind, and overdue tasks are all color-coded too. Clicking on any of these colored sections reveals all of the project tasks that fall into that category. If you just want a quick view of how many tasks fall into each category, you can check the health status section. Here you'll see the number of tasks displayed next to each health status category. You can click on these as well to access the individual tasks in each category. Project health reports are available on all plans to users at the account holder permission level. To access this report, click on the Reports button in the side menu, then select Project Health. If you have a lot of projects and you want to see this information in a way that you can organize and customize, then use Portfolio View. In Portfolio View, you have all of the health report information, but you can break these projects down into collapsible folders. Also in Portfolio View, you'll be able to see the health of your custom boards. By default, Portfolio View organizes everything into three categories. Favorites, which contain starred projects and custom boards, a category for custom boards, and a category for projects. From here, you can create new folders to customize how you want to organize your projects. It's easy to do this. Just click the big blue plus icon and select New Folder. Then, name your folder. If you manage multiple companies within your Team Gantt account, you can choose the account to associate the new folder with. If you don't see it right away, make sure that you have Show Empty Folders toggled on. Next, Drag any projects or custom boards you want into your folder, and collapse any folders that you don't want to see. If you want to add a project or custom board to your favorites, just click on the star icon and it will show up in your favorites folder. You can filter to show or hide empty folders or projects that you're not on, and you can also choose which company accounts you want to view in Portfolio View. You can also choose to view active, on hold, or completed projects. To access Portfolio View, click on Portfolio in the sidebar menu. Hourly estimating and time tracking can be used in combination to keep you informed of how your tasks are tracking against how you planned them. With hourly estimating, you can assign hours to a task and even break them down between users or labels that are assigned to the task as well. The total hours for the task can be displayed in an optional Estimated Hours column that can be toggled on or off from the View menu. Once you've assigned the hours to a task, the actual hours worked on the task can be tracked either with a stop-start timer or by manually entering the task's hours. If you're using estimated and actual hours, you'll get a visual indicator of how time on each task as well as the project is tracking in the form of a striped line through the middle of the taskbar. This line represents the amount of estimated hours for the task that have been used so far. 
If the line is green, you've used less than the estimated hours for the task. If it's red, you've exceeded the estimated hours. Hours are also tracked against the task's completion percentage. So, if the green line is shorter than the progress indicated on the task, then you're tracking under the amount of estimated hours for it. If it goes past it, then you're tracking over the estimated hours. This is a quick visual indicator that you may need to adjust things or the task's hours will go over the estimate. This works the same way for task groups and for the project as well. Both estimated and actual hours are a feature that are only available on our advanced plans. Regularly updating and monitoring your plan is key in making sure that your project stays on track. These features were designed as a visual way to help make that process quick and easy. To learn more about how Team Gantt can help you monitor plans and track progress, go to teamgantt.com support.